Akash Mani, hailing from Bangalore, Karnataka, the youngest sibling of Mani brothers, achieved notable success in swimming. At the Briggs Game 2023, he secured a bronze in the 4 into 50 meter freestyle relay. He also participated in the National Games Goa 2023. His triumph continued at the 49th Junior National Aquatic Championship, Bhuvaneshwar, where he cleansed the gold in the 50 meter backstroke event. Additionally, at the Kelo India School Games, Chennai 2023, he excelled with a remarkable haul of five medals. He wants to continue to excel and challenge himself by winning more international medals by following his brother's footsteps. Avinash Mani from Bangalore earned the Iglavia Award in 2018 and the Karnataka Olympic Association Award in 2017 in swimming. He boasts an impressive track record of representing India 18 times internationally. Having secured 14 international medals, domestically he clenched over 200 national and 350 plus state medals. At the Asian Games 2018, he was placed 7th. He notably won bronze at the World School Games 2016 and 6 gold and 3 silver at the South Asian Championship. His achievements extend to the Asian Swimming Championship, World University Games and the World Swimming Championship 2016, showcasing exceptional talent and dedication to his sport. Hello and welcome to the first edition of Beyond Scoreboard, a podcast show where we get in conversation with our young Indian athletes. I'm Ashwarya. And that's my co-host. This is me, Swarna. Before we begin this podcast, let me introduce you to our unique guest today. We have two swimming brothers who began their journey from the pool. That's Akash Mani and that's Avinash Mani. Hi, Hi. how are you? I'm doing good. Akash, you're a swimmer, but then you aspire to become a doctor. Right, you've taken science in 11th standard. And uh, I've also heard that you wanted to become a football player. So how did swimming happen there? So at first, I used to go with my brother to swimming because they were all swimming. And I used to be there. So as my hobby, I started swimming. From there, a few years on, I didn't feel like I improved that much. Like I wasn't taking the path of my brothers. Like they used to create records and all. And I was just swimming for fitness. And then I told my parents that let me join some other sport and try that. So my parents told it take some time and I still continued swimming. That happened till lockdown. Then after lockdown, I realized that's not always a talent. And I started putting in the hard work and I'm improving now. Avinash, tell us about your first uh, swimming memory. How did you start swimming? and? How did you pick it up from, you know, just a hobby to something more serious? So my story is something similar to Akash because he would say that it's because of his brother and I would say it's because of my brother. That's how we started swimming. So I started my swimming journey in 2005. So it's because of me was uh, since I was like the only kid back then Akash was not there until 2006 until he was born. So I used to like, my parents used to like take me to the pool and I used to just be by side the pool when my brother was swimming. And likewise, like, so every time we used to go to the pool, every time, like seven days a week, we used to be five days of the week, every evening at the pool. But then like three months, four months, and then two years passed since I was doing this, just going there, playing around and coming back. That's when like in 2003, uh, I decided like, let me do something like and then my parents put, just put me in the learn to swim and then from there is where it all started off and and then it was like a rough road but then like yeah there was a, like a good peak of mine you mentioned you got inspired from your elder brother arvin so how did he start he started with his journey being in rowing my uncle was a national coach for team india in rowing so that's when he started off his journey in rowing, but then he had to like know some background of swimming. So that's where he was put in the sport of swimming. 
So, so like once he started like getting to know swimming and then he didn't want to go back to rowing. That's where he pursued like his career in swimming. So that's why we are here. Speaking of opportunities and work post, you know, career in swimming, you yourself were an international swimmer. You have done so many international and national tournaments. Uh, but do you remember your last race, the last time you swam and competed, and how memorable was it, or were you like, let's just get it over with? Uh, so one of my most memorable races during my end of my career was Asian Games. So I was representing India at Indonesia in the Asian Games 2018. So I think 100 butterfly and yeah, so that is a really good race. So I, I mean, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't regret anything of that race. I gave my best and everything. And apart from that, the 4 into 100, uh, 4 into 200 freestyle relay, that was one of the most memorable races at the Asian Games. And yeah, so I had a pretty good career. I wouldn't look back and say I want to change anything. Tell us more about the Asian Games. You know, it's a dream competition for any athlete, be it any sport. So, what was the atmosphere like in the Asian Games? So, the vibrant, the kind of atmosphere in the Asian Games started way six months back before the Asian Games started. Like, the way India received us, when we got our selection from there, our camp, the way we were like treated, like post the selections. And then, of course, the Asian Games, the, the complete vibe there is like totally different. And then like every athlete, I would say, if you like want to like experience the athlete, you need to be at the Asian Games. So you get like experience of different countries coming together in such a big sporting event. And yeah, I mean, th that's like one of the true dreams like I wanted to be in and then I could do that. Yeah, Akash. So... Uh, since your brother is an overachiever himself, is there a pressure that you get from them or are they behind your back? You know, you have to do well, you have to reach where we've reached. Or you pressure want to create your sense. own legacy? Pressure in the sense is not in a bad way, but I do want to go like them. It's like pushing me friend to be like my brothers, achieve like them. And yeah, it motivates me to go further. What are your dreams? My Apart dream, like creating your niche? My dream will be to participate in the Olympics, representing India. Yeah. So... You have already taken one step towards that direction by winning a medal in the BRICS Games uh, last year. So tell us about the BRICS Games, what you liked about it, how was the competition like, also the history of the BRICS Games and you know the countries which play in it. So BRICS Games is basically a summit. It represents Brazil, Russia, India, China and uh, South Africa. So it took place in South Africa and it was back in October and 2023. I got selected from my performance in Junior Nationals. I got a goal in 50 backstroke. And from there, they took my name and they sent me as part of the team. It was really a good experience being part of a team with such other players who have worked really hard to be there. It was a new atmosphere. I got to learn a lot of things like it was one of my first times being independent without going without my parents over there so it was really nice your height is one of the uh, you know uh, good points but what is your forte area in swimming uh, i think i specialize in uh, my technique and i am a sprinter so no one can really work on technique like that and my height helps me in that uh, you once mentioned that uh, initially you used to do medley, but then you realized that your endurance was uh, weak. So, uh, what did you do to improve that? So, back in 2018, 2019, I used to participate in the individual medley event. But then I realized that my endurance isn't that great compared to others. So, I stopped doing that event because of that and I started looking into different events. And that's when I started doing freestyle as my main event. And from there on, that's really helped me to. So, what is the bond that you three brothers share with your parents? Uh, it's a very special one, I would say, because like, we, I, I personally have seen my parents struggle a lot being a swimming parent. And being a swimming parent for three is not easy in India. 
and with the kind of support we used to get back then and with the kind of pressure from the like the outside the family saying that why sports why extra money you got to spend why do you have to have that uh, kind of splurge but then like they knew what's the meaning because uh like i said my uncle was into sports so he was my dad's mentor so he knew the real uh, like what is sport giving us so that's the reason like we were still in it and my if not my parents we wouldn't have even been one step into whatever we are now so yeah whatever we are all three of us it's because of my mom and dad their sacrifices they they've sacrificed literally everything to get us what we are here uh, so akash uh, you know tell me more about your school life like how do you manage both studies and your games focusing on your friends also family also giving yourself some time oh it's really hard to balance both but i do find ways to do it i really miss out on most of the things my other friends take part in like fests and all that i wouldn't be out in cause of practice so yeah my school really helps me to be there give attendance and all so tell us about how swimming has helped you from your childhood to set up uh, you know doing other things in your future as an adult yeah so like i always wanted to give back to my sport and to be connected with what i've learned throughout my life and 25 years that's my age now and then 20 years i've been in the water so obviously i don't want to be disconnected from whatever i've learned from so that's the reason one of the things i have started working with a company called schooled where uh, we are like running different sports for grassroots levels and then one among them is swimming and i'm heading the pillar of that so it's really great because of i know what the mistakes are i know how the learning curve is so it's easier for me to transition that to another community of people wherein i just want the sport to grow yeah so akash uh, during uh, examinations or during off season how do you keep yourself motivated motivated for the swimming for the next event and all so my mom has told me to do what i do the best so when i'm swimming i think about swimming when i'm studying i think about studying so i don't really uh, get distracted much in that so my personally i give my best in whatever i do when i'm doing it so that's what helps me to be on track and help so uh, talking about distractions social media is always a distraction how much part of your life is there on the social media do you have an account where you share your swimming laurels or your medals or you know uh, whatever event you are going through? yeah i'm on instagram snapchat and all okay and i do game a lot so that's a major distraction gaming I yeah uh, tell us through it so uh, i picked up from my brothers pubg and all those games so like we used to play together in lockdown and all yeah. it was like a hobby during lockdown so yeah you guys spoke about your love for gaming and you know spoke about your hobbies so what are some other interests that you guys have and that bond you as a family so i think lockdown did a lot of help for that so wherein uh, we had a lot of time apart from swimming wherein the pools are not open so that's when we explored hiking treks and camping as a family together and then even though lockdown is over now we still do that in the weekends when i come back from the us so we still go for treks and hikes so that's how we still keep up to it your elder brother both of them are international swimmers so uh, with your experience so far what have you taught him through values not just techniques but the values that you've learned through sportsmanship so whatever i teach my younger brother akash is only the mistakes what i do so the only thing i tell him is don't do the mistakes i did explore everything and it's always you go the hard way that's when you know what is wrong if everything is a cake walk then the journey wouldn't be memorable and it it wouldn't be fruitful so all i tell him is this is for example like if there's something to do i would know the right way to do it but then i still would, would want to watch him explore and learn the, yeah, the right create way. his own niche create his own legacy can't be under the umbrella always you know that's when he can enjoy his journey it would be a his journey 
it wouldn't be mine you'd be proud of yourself yeah. right what are the qualities that you see in your brothers brothers that you have imbibed and you want to take it forward so my family is not from a sporting background and i've seen them put a lot of hard work to the sport and i personally believe that following the hard path will always be fruitful at the end and that's what i learned from my brothers what about your parents what qualities and you know uh, things from your parents have you learned that you really want to uh, aspire to be in your life uh my mom has taught me how to be a good disciplined boy and i believe that with discipline you'll get everything you want so i personally learned a lot from my mom as i spent a lot of time with her at home so that's one of the things i learned talk to us about why bangalore is such a hub for swimming you know renowned olympians like sajan prakash and everyone else trains in bangalore be it any state in india they come to bangalore we have drona acharya awardees like uh, nihar amin sir and pradeep sir coaching there so tell us more about the atmosphere of swimming in bangalore so like you said the drona acharya awardees like nihar amin sir and pradeep sir so that's the whole reason how the sport grew in bangalore and for me pradeep sir was my backbone for swimming and without him our career wouldn't be the same and whatever we are today it's for what pradeep sir the way he put us the hard work and everything and it was not a easy path so i would definitely say his workouts the discipline pattern he follows is hard but then it's fruitful in the end of the time and wherein it really like had a good impact to my career and that's the whole point why all over india comes to bangalore especially for training is because of the coaches because without the coach a student is not there tell us about the uh, energy that happens and the atmosphere in any national be it junior national be it senior national you participated in the national games so what is it like coming in with the karnataka squad or the tamil nadu squad whichever state you represent what does it feel like to have your friends cheering for you for races and the whole atmosphere in the games it really gets you excited cause you get to see a lot of new people over there and all the arrangements the state has made for us and it's really wonderful taking part in the competition it gives you new experiences to take back home and remember definitely new experiences and new memories as well so talk to us about your most memorable race to date um uh, my most memorable race will be the bricks games cause that was really wonderful in another country being alone and it was one of a new experience and it was also my first international medal also and that was really nice coming back with the jersey and the medal what was your parents reaction what what was your coach's reaction to that oh they were really happy about it and uh, they expected more as usual so are you living up to that expectations or you think there's more to work on now there's always more to work on and i'm thinking i'm going in the right path and i hope yes okay so what are your strategies for the next few major events that's going to happen in this year so i recently got selected for the upcoming international meet held at delhi so over there i'm planning to give my best performance and i'm hoping to cut down one or two seconds in my events so from there yeah. what about the workouts and you know endurance or the pattern of recovery gym sessions tell us more about that oh uh, i usually wake up at 5 in the morning and go to swimming and i swim till 8 and then i go to school or stay at home and do my homework and all, all that and uh, at 3 i go to gym then at 5 i am at swimming in the evening again i swim till 7:30 so i swim 6 days a week and sundays is usually off and in between i have do have massage classes and all all that so that helps me to recover as a child you were like a plump kid and suddenly after puberty hit you you became like tall <laughs> so uh, is was that an advantage to your swimming style yeah it really helped me to improve a lot of time in that so i'm grateful to it
what about you avinash your favorite uh, sports persons or swimmers that you look up to and take motivation from so my favorite sports person were of course michael phelps and uh, along with him was ryan lochte so these two are like really like i mean they were the legends in swimming and even to date they are somewhere connected with sports and they created multiple world records multiple olympic medals everything they have in their name but then they're still humble and back down in the ground so that's what i like about them to be humble always and not to like fly above the sky talking about world records and you know medals and all of this you're also an ekal of your awardee so tell us about the ekal of your award and you know how you felt receiving it why you received the award and elaborate about this so that was one of the most prestigious moments and time for me and my family because i was the second ekalavya award in my family up my elder brother was already one and ekalavya award is karnataka's uh, highest sporting award and it's given from the hands of the chief minister of karnataka and uh, when i got announced for the award i was really like honored because back i could see my parents hard work and whatever we had put across the years which they put across the years and my coaches put across the years it all paid off in some way and that it was really like a very like a memorable moment in my life and i would like cherish that memories forever that's beautiful do you aspire to have such awards as well do you aspire to play in the asian games how do you plan on getting there does it feel like a long shot are you or are you like every single day at a time It does feel a bit long shot because the next Asian Games is a bit far. So yeah, I have to wait patiently until then. Work hard, consistent, and hopefully I'll be there on the team. Yeah. So swimming in a pool is very different from swimming in ocean or lake. Do you enjoy doing that? I personally want to look into a career in the sea swimming. Wow. Yeah, because it's really fun to do, and I hope I can take part this year one sea swimming competition. Yeah. Have you learned surfing? No, I haven't. That's one uh, beautiful sport. Yeah. I think I believe, and in India, the culture is rising. Yeah, I would. I I know surfing. I've I have swam sea swimming also in Sri Lanka in the uh, SAC games. So I did win a silver, and then post that, I learned my surfing in Chennai itself. In yes. so it was a really uh, fun thing, and then recently I did surfing in Warkala. It was really fun. What what is the diet that a swimmer should follow? Always one uh, golden tip for swimmers. Um, I would say the banana after swimming. So that's a good one. That's, like I think every parent and swimmer would agree. Like the swimmers usually hate bananas because the parents always give one after the pool practice is done. Is it so, because of the potassium? It's. I think it's because of the nutrition the banana has, and it helps in the recovery in the quickest, and also it feeds the hunger. So, we would like to ask you both to give a message to young kids, uh, girls and boys out there who are looking at you both as inspiration to get into sport, be it swimming or anything else. What message would you give them uh, to just keep going and to try out something they're passionate about? So I would say if someone's passionate about a sport even though they're not winning or if there's no like medals and like golden moments but still have consistency and hard work so that would take you a long way if you're consistent in a sport and if you're like honest and if you're dedicated to your sport you would definitely not not succeed today but definitely a day so I would say that What about you Akash I'll personally say all good things take time so stick to it keep putting in the hard work and one day you'll get there for how long can you hold your breath underwater uh i have i think my max has been like 72 seconds so i think yeah that's very recently so i think akash would be much better because he's still young and so i personally can hold my breath for about 1 minute 30 seconds without moving underwater so i'm working on it i'm trying to improve it more talking about holding breaths i think our audience needs to hold their breath for the next episode where we will bring in more wonderful athletes like them 
and I would like to thank both of you for taking out your time and visiting us. Well, that was it for today. This is me, Ashwarya. This is me, Swarna. Signing off. Keep watching Beyond Scoreboard.